Two years ago, I won the scholarship for critical thinking in learning and teaching, an online course by the US Department of State and Education. So as a result of my online course on critical thinking, I was privileged and I went to the PD workshop to Oregon University in America. So on completion of the course, I decided to implement critical thinking elements in teaching. Critical thinking was a timely topic in Kazakhstan and at my university at that time, and I decided to implement the Socratic seminar method. Um, I used Socratic seminars uh, with the sophomore students of the university, so it was not an easy task, I should say. Uh, we know that Socratic seminars uh, have some very um, specific tasks and some of them are preparing a text, preparing the questions, preparing the students, because uh, at the Socratic seminar, students have special roles. So today I'm going to talk only on several issues like preparing students and teaching, um, preparing students and implying implication of some rules of Socratic seminars. Uh, one of the hardest tasks for students is to participate in Socratic seminar and the harder task and even harder task is to ask them to encourage others, not only initiating ideas, but encouraging others to speak too. So students coped with the task and I think we can see it in this next video. Without being great, you should please. But like you can be, you can be happy and satisfied with something else. Yeah, you know, yeah. some of your family, for instance, your friends, your free time. The same. Kai, do you have any ideas on that? Yeah. Um, in my opinion, like opinion, in my opinion, it's like uh, literacy is teaching us like basic skills like of life and creativity. As we can see, students uh, could easily encourage others and invite others and I have uh, explained to them that raising hands is not important. Students don't talk to the teacher but they evaluate ideas, discuss the text and talk, to, talk with each other. Another impart, important issue was teaching them to evaluate others, evaluate other ideas. And the aim of the Socratic seminar is not as the aim of the debate or discussion where there is a winner or loser and students should work co co in cooperation and collaboratively. So we applied a fishbowl method where some students were in the inside circle talking and discussing while the others outside were evaluating others' ideas. And evaluating the ideas, criticizing students and thinking critically and moreover reacting to criticism was not an easy task for students. Um, so what I, what I really did like about like, this side of the circle is that the fact that you guys were not that really confident as this side, like expressing your own opinions. I, don't, I have no idea why is that, but maybe you have to participate more actively. And uh, what I really liked about uh, Hani's speech, it was really expressive, so it gave me the sense that Hani were really into this problem, that school skill creativity. I really like that. And also, I want to see what you guys could give you the advice that you should give more examples, you know, like your personal examples for your, from your own life, to prove your um, words. And just one more advice, guys, you better take the notes of what other people say, because you have to see the connection between yours and their words to give more evidence. As we can see, students at times were better evaluators than teachers, and they could evaluate thoroughly, giving thorough analysis on the students, on other students' performances. That she was really prepared, like she was taking notes before the, uh, before uh, this seminar, yes. And also, is that it? She, you make a good job, really, because um, you support your ideas and you were very persuasive. Like, uh, and uh, I think all of us, we actually believe that creativity is not as important as literacy. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, yes. You see it from a different angle. Yes, for example, yeah. she gave that not only on the, from the video, but also uh, from the uh, other uh, articles. So it's very, very great. Yeah. And Kai, uh, but uh, this time you were really good. And I like that <laughs> you 
you ask it to I love it, like you were asking questions and you also were taking part and I like this very much. Thank you so much. Good job. One of the essential features of Socratic seminar is tracking ideas because while students uh, discuss the ideas, it's very crucial for them to know that the ideas are being used later, that the ideas are being evaluated and they are used to make conclusions of the seminar. In our classrooms we had uh, another role which uh, is one of the important roles in fishbowl discussions. There was a big idea tracker and we can see as uh, one example in the next video how the students could track the ideas and make conclusions at the end of seminars. Frankly, we've had more ideas in the first part because I believe it was easier for us to prove this. But here we've had some really great ideas. For example, you just started out with a great thought about society's needs, not only about the person's needs. That was a big part. Next one it was the science is proved to be superior. You've given some really efficient examples. The next one was about discipline from the point of a from the point of view of a teacher. But I really enjoy so that rules are still important and they have to exist. And last but not the least is the creativity is to be learned outside of the classroom. That was a kind of a solution for for the problem. So those are your great great ideas guys. Good. To conclude, I can say that through Socratic seminars not only students learned from each other, but I as a teacher also learned from students because while evaluating the seminars, while evaluating the students learned to evaluate and criticize, giving evidence of the criticism. And I can say that I not only gave them a lot, but I gained from students and learned from students a lot. Students could evaluate the seminars at the end, giving their feedback to the seminars, giving feedback on how the seminars were organized, and even making recommendations to me. The thing that we have to consider probably that when they had to doubt us, this doubt on us, this uh, point, I think that they should have probably two minutes for thinking about that. No. Like, yes. Uh, uh -huh. Because it's hard to give immediately the main point, like uh, the, some evidence, because as soon as it's a very like difficult uh, um, aim, so I think we apologize for that. <laughs> That's the next time for teachers. Through a Socratic seminar, students can analyze the text more deeply. They learn to evaluate each other, to evaluate ideas, to initiate ideas, to critically look at some points. And another seminar, another type of activity that I used is doubt and belief, doubting and believing ideas. So students not only try to win in a debate or win in a discussion, and they learn to, they learn fair-mindedness and the elements being showing empathy towards others, evaluating ideas. And in, the next, in our next videos, we can talk about asking right questions and preparing the right questions and also assessing the seminars themselves. Thank you for your attention.